Hey, what's up? This is Ide of Anuga Vlog. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin is about video editing. Isa sa requirements ng uh, mga YouTubers or uh, any vlogger. Lalo na yung small YouTubers na kagaya natin. But we are not going to talk about expensive or uh, yung makikita mo sa mga laptop or computers ng mga malulupet or professional na vloggers. But we are going to talk about yung uh, video editing tools or application na makikita mo lang mga or pwede mong gamitin on the go or sa cellphone mo. Yung bang tipong kahit saan pwede kang mag-edit ng video kung saan mo magustuhan. So, ano ba ito? Ito yung Kini Master. One, or one of the most popular video editing apps ng mga YouTubers na gumagamit ng cellphone. But, before we continue our topic about Kini or Kine Master, kung bago ka lamang sa channel ko, baka naman pa pwedeng pakihit ng subscribe at ng notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga susunod na video na i-upload ko. Now, let's go back to Kini Master. This video is intended para dun sa mga baguhan pa lamang or gusto nilang malaman kung paano ba gamitin yung Kini Master. So, ang gagawin natin is a very basic introduction ng Kini Master kung para saan ang bawat isa na nakikita mo sa Kini Master application. And while we are doing that, we are going to make a small videos para malaman nila kung paano ba gamitin ang mga function or ang mga buttons na nakikita sa Kini Master. So, let's start! Ito yung environment ng Kini Master once you open it from your mobile phone. Kung gusto mong gumawa ng bagong project, all you have to do is click the add button at lalabas ang option na ito. So you have the aspect ratio of 16 by 9, 9 by 16 or yung square ratio niya na 1 by 1. So let's say gumawa tayo ng 16 by 9 ratio. Ito yung lalabas after mo pumili na ratio. Ito yung nasa gallery ng cellphone mo, your videos and images na maaari mong gamitin sa iyong project. But then, KineMaster provides several backgrounds na maaari mo ring gamitin sa paggagawa ng video. So let's say you want to choose the white background. All you have to do is click the white then press the check button to confirm. So yung buong puting yan, that will be your base. Ito yung magiging base ng project mo or ng video na gagawin mo. Lahat ng ilalagay mo dyan ay makikita sa video mo. Pero bago natin ipagpatuloy yan, alamin muna natin yung iba't ibang part ng Kini Master. So, gaya na sabi ko, the white thing, yung buong yan, will be your base. Diyan mo ilalagay lahat ng gusto mong makita sa video mo. The images, videos, text, at kung ano-ano pa. Itong side naman na ito, dito mo gagawin lahat ng magic sa video mo. Or lahat ng effects, lahat ng audio, lahat ng voice na maaari mong ilagay sa video mo. At sa side naman nito, dito mo makikita yung undo, duplicate, capture at kung ano-ano pa depende sa gusto mong i-edit so halimbawa gusto mong gumawa ng video ng welcome to my channel all you have to do is add an image para sa welcome video mo so halimbawa gusto kong gamitin is logo ng youtube all you have to do is click the layer click the media at kung may downloaded ka na, na logo ng YouTube, pwede mo nang piliin yun kung nasa gallery mo na. In my case, I already have downloaded it at ipiliin ko na lang siya. Kung mapapansin nyo, merong highlight na kulay dilaw yung logo ng YouTube. So, ano bang mangyayari kapag wala yung highlight? Kapag wala yung highlight, meaning wala kang pwedeng i-edit. But then, kung i-highlight mo siya, pwede mo siyang i-edit the way na gusto mo. Pwede mo siyang i-move left, from right, up to bottom, or gusto mo siyang gawin sa middle. Nasa sa'yo na yung option. Pwede mo siyang paliitin or palakihin. So, let's say, satisfied na ako sa size na yan, but then gusto ko siyang itaas ng konti. Satisfied na ako dyan. So, pwede ko nilang i-press yung check. So, Ano na ba ang itsura ng video mo? Makikita mo yan from this button, the 
play button. So, panoorin natin yung video mo. Kung mapapasin mo, halos walang nagbago. Parang isang simpleng image lamang siya. Bakit? Kasi wala pa siyang animation. So, let's put animation on the logo. Again, para ma-edit mo ang isang bagay na nasa base mo, kailangan mo siyang i-highlight. So, click the picture para magka-highlight na yellow. Then, let's add animation. And choose the in animation. Let's say, I want to use the pop-up. Pero nasa sa inyo yan, kung anong gusto nyo gamitin. Marami siyang option. But then, let's use the pop. And if you are satisfied with that, again, you can click the check button. So, ngayon, ano ba ang itsura ng video mo? So, kung mapapansin mo, wala na yung logo ng YouTube. Bakit? Kasi, ang animation natin is pop-up. Kapag pop, mag-uumpisa sa wala yan, biglang lilitaw. So, let's now watch the preview of our video. So, ayan. Unti-unti na nagkakamero ng texture o ng pagbabago sa ating ginagawa. So, ano pang pwede natin gawin? Let's say, you want to add text. Kung gusto mag maglagay ng text, you have to add another layer which is the text layer. Just press the T and add the text that you want. So, kung mapapansin mo, hindi mo makita yung text doon na dyan na siya. Kasi kulay puti yung color ng text mo and at the same time, kulay puti rin yung background mo or yung base mo. So, all you have to do is highlight the text kaya na nakikita nyo may kulay yellow siya, naka-highlight siya, meaning to pwede mo siyang i-edit. Then, go to the color palette and pick the color that you want. You can pick blue, green, red, whatever you want. For this time, I'm going to pick the black color. Then, again, just press the check to confirm and voila now you can see the text that you write so pwede mo siyang palakihin so pwede mo siyang palta ng uh, font let's say we use this one and if you are satisfied with it you can press check once again. So, gusto mo naman makita yung preview ng uh, video mo, let's try to play it. So, kung makikita mo, nag-overlap siya. Nag-overlap siya sa part na to. So, all you have to do is edit the text, highlight the text, bring it down a bit, And that's it. So, let's take the preview once again. So, makikita mo, ang nag-animate lang or ang gumagalaw lang is yung logo ng YouTube. So, dagdagan natin ang kulay yan or ng texture by adding animation on the text. Again, once again, click the text kasi yung gusto mong lagyan ng animation. Then, in animation, pumili ka ng animation na gusto mo. This time, we are going to use letter by letter. So, that's it. Then, if you are satisfied with that, we just press the check button to confirm. So, ano na ba magiging itsura ng video natin? Let's try once again. So, yan na siya. Parang may kulang pa rin, diba? So, parang uh, napaka-boring niya. So, lagyan natin siya ng audio or ng background music. So, from here, you can add audio by clicking the audio icon. You can choose from the music from your gallery or you can use the pre-installed na provided na KineMaster. So, this time, we are going to use the pre-installed. Let's say we use this one. It 
you want that, just press the add button to add a layer of the audio. So, ayan. Meron na tayo ngayong uh, tatlong layer. We have the text layer from for welcome to my channel. We have the layer for the YouTube logo and we have another layer for the audio. So, ano na ba yung itsura or how does our video looks? So, let's try to play. So, medyo nabubuhaya na, di ba? So, what if you want to say the welcome to my channel? So, ayan. Pero pwede mo siyang gawin by pressing the voice. Ayan. I-press mo lang yung voice. Dito, pwede ka na mag-record ng audio na gusto mong sabihin. E, kung handa ka na mag-record, i-press mo lang yung start. At once tapos ka na sa gusto mong sabihin, just press the stop. And yun na, meron ka ng voice. So, gusto mo siyang i-review para ma- kita mo kung ano ba yung effect niya sa video mo. Kung mapapansin mo, halos hindi mo marinig yung record mo na video dahil mas malakas yung sound effect na ginamit mo. So, all you have to do is click the sound effect na ginamit mo which is the audio layer go to the volume and bawasan mo yung volume niya. Yan. Then, click the check icon again. And let's preview it again. Welcome to my channel. So, parang medyo mahina naman yung audio. Again, i-click mo ulit siya. At just add some more. Welcome to my channel. So, I think it's okay. Palakihin lang natin ang konti yung letter para maging balance siya. So, you have to make it balance. Yan. And move it a bit up. Welcome to my channel. Now, if you are satisfied, so pwede mo na siyang save by clicking this icon. And then, you have the option kung ano yung uh, gusto mo na quality ng video mo. So, let's try the HD quality only. And press export para masave yung ginawa mo. So, that's it. Ayan. Tapos na yung ating video. So, panoorin na natin yung finished product. Welcome to my channel. So, ayan guys. Meron na kayong idea about Kini or Kind Master. Abangan nyo yung mga susunod ng video ko kasi i-dig deeper natin yan. Mas hihimayin natin yung Kini Master. Mas pupunta tayo sa most komplikado or more complicated editing ways para mapaganda yung mga video nyo. So, again guys, kung nagustuhan nyo yung topic ko, baka naman ba pwede pakihit na subscribe na notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga susunod na video ko. See you in my next tutorial video.